everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am doing a renovation of the 2B Jasmine Suites apartment in San Maishuno. And I wanted to do something that was a little bit more my style as my last two builds have been less so. One was a big Victorian and the other was a um, industrial kind of modern contemporary uh, shipping container build so <laughs> I wanted to do something cute and fun so I did this apartment renovation and I also wanted to do something quick which an apartment renovation of this size is very quick so I built this with no particular sim in mind I just kind of did what I liked but I imagine it's probably like a single parent or um, something like that so there is two bedrooms and one bathroom and I did decorate one bedroom for a child I imagine probably a child or a teen sim and yeah so it, as you can see so far we're going very colorful <laughs> um, there are some spots with more clutter like I put these shelves up and I cluttered them up and I did a little bit of clutter in the kitchen not too too terribly much so I also did make a little room behind the kitchen for a laundry room and a litter box because I imagine that they also have a kitty cat as most of my builds do I can't help it I love adding stuff for pets I just think it adds so much character I also put the little cat tree in the uh, little kind of hallway area next to the bedrooms I wanted to fit one in there but I wasn't sure where to put it so I thought that would be a good spot for it Although ideally it would be next to the window because cats, like every cat I've had, loves to look out the window. So there is also a scratching post in the little seating area in the living room. Um, here's the little entryway. I love these tables from Laundry Day. <laughs> and I love cluttering them up a little bit. And the, ba the bathroom I actually left in for once. Just your typical bathroom. I don't think I'd put anything special in here, honestly. It's just, you know, your standard bathroom. So... <laughs> Yeah, but I had so much fun with this. It's been a while since I've done an apartment renovation. I'd kind of like to do some more, but they're, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I'm in the mood for them and sometimes I'm not. And this one I was in the mood for at first and then I really struggled to finish it. So I was glad when I finally did. <laughs> and the this is the laundry area, obviously. I, I love the blue swatch of those of the washer and dryer. I think it's so pretty. It makes me want a colorful washer and dryer. I just have a boring old white one. Also, for some reason, the front door bugged out. As you can see, it's like melded into the wall. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but when I came back the next day to finish it, it was fine again. So I'm not sure what was going on with the Sims, but something. And then I tried to put postcards on the fridge because I feel like I've seen people do that before, but I couldn't figure out how to get it like against the fridge. It wouldn't go any farther back. So I ended up not doing that. But I do put some postcards, I think on those shelves that I put near the living area. I think I put some on the wall kind of in between the two shelves. I thought that was really cute. And, and of course, I don't know, I um, had to put a BB-8 up there. I, I kind of I don't know, I just like hiding them in some of my builds sometimes. The, the little droids, they're so cute. <laughs> I haven't played with Journey to Batuu yet. Like, I I know everyone was, like, really upset about that pack, but I was kind of excited. It's so, sort of. Like, sort of and sort of not. And I kind of started playing with it today, but more than I like the gameplay, I just like the cute little droids. Like, they're so cute. So I had to throw one in here. And here we're just cluttering up the kitchen a little bit. Um, those spice containers and candles, like my usual kind of a clutter that I do. Um, I actually really like the living area. I don't, I typically don't like the couches that came with Parenthood, but they ended up working really well. And then I used the um, show hidden objects to get that rug from Nifty Knitting and the octopus and that little like uh, ottoman thing. And that pack is just comes with so much cute stuff. So I was really excited to use it. And here we are just cluttering up our little entryway. Um, I can't remember what else I put up there. I think I grabbed some mail from the debug catalog and oh yeah, that little art project thing and I just threw some stuff up there that kind of looked like maybe they use it as kind of a catch-all when they walk in the door and just kind of throw things down. I know if I had a table there, it would be a giant mess because, <laughs> well, I guess I kind of do. Like I my kitchen is separated kind of like by a bar thing and I just that's where all my mail goes and like my purse anything that I just don't want to deal with it just goes on that counter until I finally get around to dealing with it so here we're cluttering up those shelves I'm really sorry that the camera seems to jump around a lot 
furnishing an apartment like of this size is kind of hard because if you put the walls half down you can't see the the walls that are in like against the hallway because it considers them interior walls so I had to do it a lot with walls up so things were all over the place but I used a lot of stuff from the debug catalog um there I am there are the postcards I knew I did the snow globes and I don't know what that green thing is but I thought it was cute and the eggs and yeah it was fun and I sized down those my sims statues and put a couple of those I imagine those are probably the kids toys or maybe they're um, collectors or some thing but I had to put a little bit of clutter in here I just couldn't not especially after I did the Victorian with kind of minimal clutter and the industrial uh, shipping container build I just had to do something more colorful and cluttered and fun so I did add I think I kept those plants up at the top of the shelves I, I honestly cannot remember but I did add some plants up there for some more color um, I think we're just doing the lighting now which is boring <laughs> boring boring but, and then I think we'll move into the bedroom now, if I'm correct. I did try to make this bedroom one smaller because I thought it was too big. Um, so I was going to make the living area just a little bit bigger. But it ended up cutting that window in half. And if you cut a window in half with a wall that's not meant to be cut in half, one half of it will turn black. <laughs> and it looks so terrible and you can't fix it you can't cover it with anything like I tried covering it with a curtain and and that was like 30 minutes I tried to fix that and it didn't work so obviously I cut all that out because that's still like five minutes of, of sped up footage and that's insane so yeah so I really ended up liking this bedroom this bedroom is very much my taste although that yellow the yellow flowers and stuff I think I meant to delete that and I didn't do it <laughs> and I it's in the screenshots and everything and I'm pretty certain I did not mean to keep it there but oh well it's there now and then I use this um, like wardrobe thing from uh, I think it's from the movie stuff but I didn't I don't think I've ever seen it in that swatch before and I am in love like I want that in my house right now and of course I use the jungle adventure mirror this wouldn't be an Andrea style build if there wasn't a jungle adventure mirror. <laughs> uh, and did I, I'm pretty sure I used a lot of my other signature kind of things as well. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I just saw it and it's pink. And then I put this uh, purple chair in here from Tiny Living. And I know the purple doesn't really go, but for some reason I just really liked it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just really liked how it looks. So I was like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh, put it in here and it's going to be great. And so we are moving on to the kids bedroom now and this is all purple and I freaking love it. I did, yeah, I did make one, two balls solid purple to kind of give your eyes a little bit of a break, but yeah, I sorted everything to purple and then I just went for it. Okay, so this does have the art table in it, so I guess it would probably be more for a child sim than a teen sim, but obviously you could take that out, make whatever changes you need if you want to have a teen or a toddler or whatever you want, so, but I, oh, this, this, I love this room so much. But anyway, we are getting to the screenshots. So if you enjoyed this and would like to see more apartment renovations, you should let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye!